Smith with a lesson on cycle 5, the major pentatonic scale. The major pentatonic scale is a five note scale and it has a root, second, major third, fifth, and sixth. The major pentatonic scale shares the same notes and no more, no less, as the major 6-9 with the same root. C major 6-9, C major pentatonic, same notes. So that'll give you an advantage anytime you see a 6-9 chord on a, on a piece of music and you're not quite sure what to play over that, you just play your major pentatonic scale. Okay, but you also want to check out probably the uh, cycle five of the uh, six nine which i made a video of and i'll put a link in that in the footer in the description for this video okay so let's just start let's just dive right in and so here's what we're going to do we're going to take c major pentatonic and we're going to go to g major pentatonic and then uh, keep going in fifths so so c c right here fifth away from c is g right? so we'll go in from c to g and then g to d and then a fifth away from D, D to A, and a fifth away from A, from A to E. And we're going to play a pentatonic for each of those. So the formula is to um, take your major pentatonic scale, locate the root, in that case uh, we have C, lower it by a minor second, and play everything else the same. That gives you G major pentatonic, right in the same position. Very convenient. Now we're going to take that uh, same process and apply it to G major pentatonic in this position. G major pentatonic, find the root, lower it by a half step, keep everything else the same. That gives us D major pentatonic. Okay, so now we have D major pentatonic. We're going to go cycle five. We're going to take the root of D major pentatonic, which is D, lower it by a half step, and get to it's A major pentatonic. Okay, so now we're going to take A major pentatonic and we're going to go cycle five. So. Major pentatonic, we're going to go cycle five, we're going to take the root and lower it by a half step. That gives us E major pentatonic. Locate the root, go cycle five. There's the root, lower it by a half step. B major pentatonic. And now we're at the same shape we started at, except we're down one fret. We started on C major pentatonic and now we're on D on B major pentatonic. So this completes only part of it. This completes all five shapes. We went through six actually. We played the first one twice. Starting on it and in C and ending on it in B. So the, the next step in the sequence is to go from B major pentatonic to pentatonic scale a fifth away from that, which is what is it? Think about it. Because we get B and we gotta go up a fifth. I'm going to go to G flat. Yeah, better call it G flat. F sharp, well, you could call it F sharp, but I would rather say G flat because you get F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, C sharp, E sharp. Yeah, you, you could, you could, but then you're going to go to the next one. You're going to go to a fifth away from that, which is going to be what? C sharp? Well, you're going to have, at some point, you're going to have to go to flats. Um, and then that's going to be the next one. From F sharp, you're going to have to go to D flat. All right, so then you have D flat, E flat, F, A flat, B flat, and D flat again. Um, and instead of thinking of it as in sharps, which would be C sharp, D sharp, E double sharp, G sharp, you know, e, once you start getting into the double sharps and, you know, it's time to, or double flats, it's time to switch over to the other side. Okay, 
So, so that complete, we completed part of it, and I gave you a hint at what's next to come. Now it's going to be up to you to practice them. And so we've got five shapes, um, and we've got 12 tones, and so we're going to have to actually play all of them. We're going to have to play all of them. That's what? Five times 12? What's that? Do your math. <laughs> and just keep you on your toes a little bit here. I'll let you figure that one out. Um, but uh, it doesn't take a whole lot of time to play through all of them. Um, and the goal of this is to, is to get you thinking about it. Um, which notes you're playing? So if we're playing C major pentatonic to G. Okay, now I'm on G. Where's the root? G, here. Okay, now I'm playing D. Where's the root? Okay. Now I'm playing A. Where's the root? And then B. sharp okay and you can just keep going and keep going and keep going with these um, and it's really challenging to, to think about where the root is and uh, that's really the idea I don't want you to memorize all of your positions based on dots I want you to think about where the root is and listen to it and uh, don't don't try to focus on how it looks and how the patterns look necessarily just um, where the root is and where you're going with it and I like to practice it with my eyes closed because um, it gives me, a, I feel a better connection from my ear to my hands rather than my eyes. But um, whatever works best for you and try and uh, try and practice it for maybe five to ten minutes a day. And that's really, you know, maybe you do two sessions of, of ten minutes, maybe. Uh, at first it'll be hard um, and uh, after you get used to it, it's going to get a whole lot easier after about a week or two of doing it. Thank you very much. If you liked what you see, please click the thumbs up and uh, click the subscribe button. That really does help me. Um, so uh, this is going to help me to get more subscribers. So this is why I'm putting this information out for free. Uh, so that, uh, you know, just share some of the love back and click the subscribe button. It's free. Thank you very much.